I would like to introduce our speaker for today's webinar about Windows Network Drive integration. You can see here his picture. It's Hauke, his uh, senior pre-sales engineer at OwnCloud. He will guide you through the webinar today. Enjoy the presentation. As said, so my name is, um, is Hauke Milius. I'm a pre-sales engineer here at OwnCloud. And um, in that role, I'm, yeah, I'm taking care of technical issues that, um, that our customers have during, um, during the sales cycle. And um, today we are going to, to talk about the um, possibilities that you have with OwnCloud um, to integrate OwnCloud into um, existing um, Windows network drives. All right, so this will be divided in two parts. So we will have some, um, yeah, some, some theoretical parts here at the beginning. So we'll tell a bit about um, OwnCloud itself. So for those who don't know us, um, and then I will tell a bit about um, the integration that we have into Windows Network Drive, and then I will show it um, in a live demo. All right, and at the end, we will have a, a Q&A session um, where I will answer um, the questions that come up. All right, let's start. So um, this is the agenda for today. So as said, the first part, um, OwnCloud 101. Um, then we will go into the OwnCloud and Windows Network Drive um, integration. So and I can explain um, how it works theoretically. And after that, um, we are going to see a live demo um, where I will show um, how to do that in, in practice and um, yeah, with different options that we have and, and what we can do with, uh, with home directories, for example. OK, let's begin. Um, exactly, OwnCloud 101. So, yeah, first things first. So, uh, what is OwnCloud? Some, yeah, some facts and figures here. So, OwnCloud is basically an open source project that was founded um, in 2010. So, um, the latest numbers that we have um, tell us that we have around 25 million users worldwide, um, more than 200,000 installations, um, and more than 400 um, paying customers. Um, that use own cloud um, yeah, in, 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 in for the companies. All right, yeah, and um, another news um, that we can tell now is um, that we are listed in, in the Gartner's Magic Quadrant um, for content collaboration platforms. Um, that's, that's how Gartner calls it, um, as the only um, open, open source vendor and um, only one um, out of two vendors that um, are out of Europe. All right, so far so good. So um, yeah, who are our customers? Some, some logos here that you might recognize. So um, as you can see, we have customers in all different um, sectors around um, the industry. So basically um, everyone that, um, yeah, basically everyone that cares about, um, about data is a potential customer of ours. Um, so as you can see, we have um, um, people like, like Daimler um, and Deutsche Bahn, which is the German um, railway company. Um, we have a lot of banks, insurances, um, yeah, and many, many more. All right. Um, yeah, some, some, some brief overview about some of our, um, some of our customers, um, some of our success stories. So, so one, very, um, one that is very impressive um, also for us is um, the project that is run by the government of India. So um, they basically um, want to provide an, an own cloud or yeah, an own cloud account at the end um, to every Indian citizen that needs to exchange data um, with the government in, in some way. So at the moment, um, they have around um, 30 million users and uh, many, many million, uh, millions of documents um, that, they, um, that they store in, in their own cloud environment. And um, yeah, it's, a, it's our largest known installation. Um, and I would be surprised if there are any, any bigger, bigger installations out there. All right, so another example here from, from Germany. So it's um, ZF Friedrichshafen. So they are an international car parts maker. And the goal that they had was um, basically to secure the data exchange that they need to do. Um, with, with, um, with their suppliers, for example, um, and also for, with internal people um, across several continents. So they needed a replacement for, for insecure public cloud services like Dropbox, Google Drive, and, and all the others that are out there. And um, at, this, at the moment, their installation has around um, 70,000 um, users worldwide. All right, one last example. 
then we will dive into the Windows Network Drive stuff. So um, this is Jefferson National. It's um, a company out of the, um, yeah, the financial service world, um, and they also had an issue with, um, yeah, with, with public cloud services at the end. And um, they just uh, wanted they wanted to empower their users um, by making sure that um, IT is still in control of um, of the data and the sharing of data. And um, they also had a um, demand for sharing large files um, with internals and externals. And um, yeah, that was basically their their case. And um, of course, there are many more, but um, let's keep it keep it with that. Okay, so. Let's dive into the Windows Network Drive stuff. Okay, so one last one last slide um, in, in general about OwnCloud. So what is OwnCloud? Um, so OwnCloud, for those who don't know, is an enterprise file sync and share um, solution that is um, running within your data center. So we have, there's nothing. Um, uh, no part of that solution uh, runs on, on some kind of um, on our infrastructure. So everything, the data and the metadata, um, is will stay within your environment. Basically, um, you can install it in your own data center. You can install it in, in any kind of public cloud that you want. You can also install it in a hybrid way, um, and and keep the data in your data center and the metadata in, in a public cloud. For example, we have all the options. But um, the important thing is that um, you will always be um, in control of, um, of your data. Okay, so um, an own cloud um, has the possibility to, to integrate into a lot of different storages. So um, basically own cloud um, is like an, like an aggregation layer. So um, we can um, reuse um, storages that, that our customers already have, like, um, like in this case here, um, Windows Network Drive and make them available in a secure way um, through own cloud. Um, so we can also integrate into Dropbox, into, um, into an S3, um, into an S3 storage. Um, we can use um, NFS as a backend storage. We can use S3 as a backend storage. So many, many options. And then own cloud can basically um, yeah, combine them in, in one single view that can be accessed then with um, different clients. So we offer clients um, for, for desktop synchronization, for Windows, Mac, Linux, um, we offer clients for, for the iOS world um, and also for, for Android. All right, so, and the goal is to have your, your data always with you and uh, to stay in control of your data. So everything that happens in OwnCloud will, um, will be locked and audited um, so that um, the IT or the one who runs OwnCloud basically always um, knows what's, what's going on. All right, let's start with the own cloud of Windows Network Drive stuff. Okay, so just um, two more slides and then we go into the, into the live demo. So um, how does it work? So many people think um, when we talk about um, own cloud and Windows Network Drive integration that we copy the data from existing um, Windows file servers. Um, when we talk about Windows Network Drive, for example, onto our own cloud server. So this is not the case. Um, what we are doing here is when, when someone um, accesses own cloud and we have that integration into the Windows file server to this Windows network drive, drives, um, we um, access them on there where they are. So we are not copying them to, to own cloud, so they stay where they are um, at the moment and we just make them available through own cloud and that you can um, use all the, um, all the cool things that, that own cloud offers. Um, you can um, then share these files that are in there and um, it can, um, yeah, do all the things that, that OwnCloud um, basically provides. Yeah, exactly. So um, you also um, keep the existing governance policies. So um, we are reusing, we will see that in a second. So we, we will reuse um, the, the logins, so the, the, the NTFS permissions that are already um, there on that Windows file server. Um, and therefore, People will only have access to, to these files um, where their account has access to. So um, we, are, we are basically reusing that. Yeah, and then therefore we can um, make sure that um, people have access to these files when they are, um, they are traveling, that they can share files on there. Um, and IT will always stay um, in, in control of, of what happened with these files and who shared what to whom and, and all these kind of things. Um, and people can, yeah, basically have um, their files with them 
and do the things that they need to do with them. All right, that's the, the overview about um, how, how it works. Um, so um, some last few words um, about the, the demo that we are about to see. So um, I have the following demo set up here. So we have an own cloud server um, in the enterprise version. So um, there are some, some minor differences um, in regards to the um, community version and the enterprise version. So in the enterprise version, you'll have more methods um, when it comes to um, the authentication options. Um, yeah, we have, that, we have an own cloud instance that's running on, on, on a Docker environment here locally at, at in our um, data center. And we also have um, a Windows file server where we have um, an Active Directory and, and a set these, um, some, some VND shares. So um, there's a group on that Active Directory called Cloud User. And this group consists of um, 20 users. So user 01 to user 20. And every user has his own home directory on the file server. And um, we will now then um, yeah, configure that um, to to show you um, how it looks like um, when you um, integrate own cloud into um, yeah that these Windows network drives. All right, so that was the last slide, as promised. So now I'm going to share my screen, and I will wait for my colleague to confirm that you can see my screen. All right, looks good. All right, so first things, um, let's have a look at the at the Windows environment. So this is the Windows um, the Windows uh, server that I just mentioned here, and um, where we have um, these where these shares are located. So if I have a look here, so we can see that these are the um, the home directories for for the different users here um, that we are about to um, to connect to. All right, so this is the right window. This, so I'm now going to um, going to log in to my to my own cloud instance, and um, using my credentials. So this is a user that has um, admin rights. So we will need um, admin rights in order to um, to configure that stuff. So I will go into the settings. And there we have something that's called storages or storage under the under the admin part of the settings here. And there we have um, um, what we call external storages, and um, this is the the place where we can um, configure that. But I just remember that I wanted to show you first um, that we have an integration into the Active Directory, as I just said. So. Um, we basically um, use the Active Directory or can use the Active Directory for the for the user authentication. This is the corresponding um, configuration here. So um, we can see that um, there's a group um, cloud user on that Active Directory that we, um, so everyone that's part of that group um, can then um, log in to, to own cloud. All right. Um, yeah, there are some more things that we, um, that we need to configure. Um, one important thing here is we want to do this stuff with um, to, to automatically mount um, um, a user's home directory to own cloud when he logs in. Um, if you want to do that, um, we need to configure the um, own cloud's internal username attribute um, to the same account name of that user. Um, the reason for that is um, that we basically use reuse the credentials um, someone uses when he logs in. Um, and forward them to the um, to the Windows Windows file server in order to um, to make that um, Windows network drive available. Um, important notice here: so um, if you already have a, a running instance, um, you cannot change that that easily in um, in, a, in an instance. So this is something that needs to be done um, from the beginning. So um, and also every every time when you when you change something in the other configuration, um, please read our documentation very carefully. And um, if in doubt, um, please, please contact us or contact our, um, our support team. All right, so now back um, to the storage part. So 
as said, so we are back under the, on the storages, and now we are going to add um, a Windows Network Drive. We can see all the, all the other options that we have here. So, but I will pick Windows Network Drive. Um, all right, first thing um, that we need to do is to define um, yeah, define a name, a folder name that will appear then in the in the file view. So we will see that in a second. So we call that um, boot directory in that case. Then we have several options in regards of um, the authentication. So um, if you use um, the, the login credentials, um, as just said, um, this is the one that we should pick. So we have options here to save them, the credentials only in the session that a user has. So as soon as he logs out, um, the, these credentials will be, will be lost then. Um, we can also save them in the database. If we want to um, use, if we want to empower users to share files that are um, in their Windows Network drives, we somehow need to configure it in a way that we save them somewhere, because otherwise OwnCloud won't be able to um, access this Windows Network drive if the user is not logged in, and um, then we cannot share files that are in Windows Network drives. All right, then we have some other options here, user entered. So um, if you choose that, um, we will ask the user in a small pop-up um, if he, after he logs into OwnCloud um, to enter his credentials. Then we can define global credentials that are, um, that can define um, over here, um, that are valid then for, for all the shares. And we can just say, um, we can just put um, username and password. So for our first example, um, I will go with that. So I need to define um, the host here. So I type in the host name very carefully. The host name, the name of the share. So in this file, in this case, the, the, we are connecting to the, um, to the folder um, where all these home directories are in. And this whole folder is called home. And as we choose username and password for authentication, I will define them here. Um, and this is the username, I'm not to concentrate. Okay. Right, and then the last thing I need to choose is um, for what uses this, um, this directory should be available for. So I can define a group here or a single user. So I'm logged in as the user Hauke. So I will only make them available for myself. So and as you see on the left-hand side, um, it should turn green exactly. So that shows us that um, we are now able to connect to that, um, or OwnCloud has successfully connected to that directory. All right, so now I can move back to the file view. And then we should see that directory exactly. So we can see that it, there's a different kind of logo. So it shows that that Windows um, that Windows icon. Um, and if we click on that, we can see um, the structure that we just saw when I entered the um, when I entered the, the the Windows server. Now we can um, go into one of these folders. I can um, add stuff here. I can say um, so. This is this is. Uh, New folder, hit on enter, and then we have a new folder here. And now if I go back to, just to prove that it really works, so if I go back to my Microsoft um, machine here, and um, so I just changed something in the, in the directory user 10. So if I go back in here, I can see that there's a new folder that I just created. This is a new folder. And um, again, same thing here. If I delete it here, it will also stop appearing um, in the in the own cloud environment. All right. So this is the basic way um, to to implement um, that that Windows Network Drive connection. So this is the one thing um, I wanted to show you. So and uh, the other thing that we are going to look at next is um, the stuff that I mentioned. Um, that to automatically mount um, a home directory of a user. So I go back to the storage configuration and um, we'll add another um, Windows Network Drive config here. So I click again on Windows Network Drive and I call it home directory 
This time, um, we are not going to use um, username and password as before, so we want to reuse um, the login credentials that a user entered during um, sign-in because we have a connection to the Active Directory. So, and um, we also want to be able to share files that are in there. So we, I choose login credentials, save in database. So I'll click on that. And again, I need to type in, I can just, just copy it. So you can just type in the host again and the share. So this time we are not defining a share. So we are using a variable that's called dollar user. And um, therefore, with the variable, he will also automatically pick um, as a share name the, um, the same account name that was provided to the to the Windows system. All right, and um, we want to make it um, so OwnCloud should try to to do that um, for every member of the group cloud user. So as you remember, this is the group that um, is um, existing on our um, Active Directory, so where all these users are part of. So user one to user 20 are part of the group cloud user and OwnCloud should only try to mount the home directory for the users that are part of this group here. All right, that's basically, that's basically it. So um, I will use my second browser to just showcase that. So I'm, I'm trying to connect to the same, to the same instance here. So on this time I will pick the user 10, for example, and click and enter the password. Mm. Okay. So I need to just to make sure. Alright, so I will lock me in. And um, now I can see my home directory. So we defined that name. Um, if I click on that, um, I will see the content of the home directory from user 10, which is called um, Thomas Meyer. Um, and now again, if I create, oh, so yeah, we, we can see again this folder that we just created. So, and, and also at this, this point, um, of course, we can um, create new stuff here, um, another, another new folder and um, takes a while and of course um, if we go back to that to that windows machine um, there appears a new um, the, the folder that we just um, that we just created all right so that was um, basically what i wanted to show you today so um, yeah, I would um, stop the screen share now, and um, then we can move on with the um, yeah with the question and answer answer session. Thank you, Hauke, for presenting the webinar. Please use the chat window now uh, to ask your questions, and we will try to answer. Mm -hmm. All right, so you should be able to hear me again. All right, so um, first question was, or is, um, um, is the solution you presented also available for the community version um, of OwnCloud, or do I need to su subscribe to the enterprise version? Um, so as stated before, um, we, so it's, it's also possible to, to use the Windows Network Drive integration with the community version, but the difference is um, that we, we basically, so we have in the enterprise version, we have more options in regards of authentication. So in the community version, you will not have the option to use um, login credentials and save them um, in, in the data in the database, for example. So there is there are some slightly some slightly differences here. Next question was um, so is cloud user the technical user for the connect? Um, no, cloud user is was the group or is the group on the um, on the Active Directory. Um, where the user 01 until user 20 are, are part of. Okay. So is it possible to make auto backup from home directory when it's, when it's mounted? Um, 
this of course is somehow possible. So what, what we can do is um, we can also sync that um, home directory um, with the desktop client, for example, and there we can, um, and there we can um, basically do copies of that um, as many as we want. Um, yeah, I, there, I guess there, there are several options um, to do to do auto backup. But so most customers I talk to um, already have some kind of um, backup um, stuff in place for their Windows environment. So in most cases, there's no need to do um, a special backup for um, at the own cloud um, the own cloud level. So. Yeah. So, um, do I need a special plugin um, to do this? Um, yeah, basically, you need um, the corresponding app for that. So, OnCloud has an app um, for the Windows Network Drive integration um, that needs to be um, yeah enabled. All right. Which OnCloud version do I need? Um, so, the answer to that would be like um, always the latest one. So, I'm, I'm not sure how how long. I think this this feature itself is uh, is there since own cloud version 8 or so and we are now um so the current release is 10.0.0 all right uh, so i'm not getting this question so what is the requirements for using um microsoft adfs instead of ldap so um when we use, when we integrate into, um, when we do single sign-on um, with own cloud, we use um, Microsoft ADFS as our um, as our IDP, and the requirements there um, for in general for 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 an identity provider to work with own cloud um, is um, that he supports um, SAML too. All right. So is it possible um, if the Windows Server and OnCloud Server are not on the same LAN? Yes, of course. They need to, um, um, yeah, they need to have a connection somehow, and um, you also want to make sure that um, there is a certain um, bandwidth between these two servers, um, because if you if you want to transfer um, larger files, um, it could, yeah, it will just um, 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 slow that down. Again, which version is available? Um, if, it, it's, if you have an ins own cloud installed and um, you did an update in the last two, three years or so, you should be able to use it. Um, okay. Um, you can select any folder to share out. Um, to share out, it's not limited to just user folders. No, you can basically. Um, if you allow a user to share files um, in their Windows Network Drive, um, you can do that. Yes, so you can then. So, bas so basically, he will only see um, stuff that he is allowed to see on that Windows environment because we are reusing the NTFS um, um, permissions here, um, and therefore um, you can. And if you allow them, additionally, if you allow them to to share stuff that's in there, um, they can only um, yeah share stuff that they are allowed to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, sorry. Um, is there any any way to only show certain folders from the Windows Drive? For example, only the Photos folder in the User Drive. Um, yes, of course. If the um, so we can we can drill down there a bit. Um, but um, yeah, in most cases you would like to show something like that with the um, with the NTFS permissions on the Windows Server side. Okay. All right, so what is the last version of OwnCloud? Um, I use OwnCloud 2.4.2. Um, no, 2.4.2 is, is a client, is a version for the, um, for the client, for the desktop client. Um, we are now, the latest version that's out now at the moment is 10.0.9. We are about to release 10.0.10. .10. All right, so another one, um, he's running 10.0.9, but he's not seeing the Windows Network Drive app um, as set. So the, this Windows Network Drive stuff um, is only available in, in the enterprise version. You can do, if you want to test that, um, there's, there's an enterprise app for that. Um, if you have the community version, you will see something that's called SMB um, something. Um, if you can, you're free to test um, the enterprise version. Um, just search for um, own cloud enterprise trial and, um, and follow the guidelines there um, or contact us if you, if you need help on that. Thank you, Hauke, for answering the questions. Um, we came to an end.
uh, yeah, I would like to use the opportunity to make some advertisement for our webin uh, our conference next week. It's in Nuremberg here in Germany. It's a good opportunity to meet the people behind OwnCloud there uh, and to hear more about our technology. Um, we offer on-site a mix of technical talks, free admin trainings and workshops. And um, maybe you have time to join us there. And otherwise, I hope to see you next time anywhere and enjoy the rest of your day. Of the day. Thank you for your interest today. Bye.